Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the wonderful duo of Vern and Kelly!
so much, thank you. It was brilliant though, wasn't it? It was. It, it just was went so down, fun. It down was to fun. the wire, like, you know, yeah. seven and all of it. <laughs> it's just a pity we didn't I know. make it. I, 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 think, I think the scorekeeping was, was off, I think. <laughs> But no, I know it was. It was a lot of fun, uh, and uh, it's great to just get off the ship for for a few hours, and then come back and play music again and have a bit of fun. So thanks so much for coming out for this. Um, it's our it's our second gig, Bernie Kelly's second gig on on, on the cruise, and uh, we put together, I suppose. You know, you've got a certain amount of time. We said, look, we're, we're going to squeeze in and as much good stuff as we can. Oh, yes. And we sort of did that. We, I, as I'm sure if you just realised there, we, we sort of put together a bit of U2. And then we thought, do you know what? Let's put in one of our own songs, a bit of Belfast in there as well. So that's our, our tribute to Echoes going on there with that, that song as well. So um, look, sit back, enjoy tonight, sing along with us. We know you know the words of every song better than we do. So it's always it's always a help when when, when you actually sing the songs. So uh, please do. <laughs>
so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. A lot of good singers out there today. Oh yes. In the audience. Yeah, you can Actually, that, that, that's one thing. <laughs> Look, the whole rush today from being on the island and off the island and stuff. Neil, I didn't really get running this by you. Okay. But I'm just thinking, you know, look, this being, you know, it's a 10 year anniversary cruise of Celtic Thunder. 10 years of Celtic Thunder. But when I think about it, 10 years of Celtic Thunder and five years of Bernard Kelly as well. So. You can't believe it's five years. I don't know. Crazy. So we're both, we're celebrating both these accolades, I think, today, yeah. Absolutely. Thank you, thank you. So I was thinking, you know, with that in mind, when I do something a bit different, something special for the whole 10 year, 5 year anniversary thing. Yes. I, are you okay with this so far? I'm okay so far. Okay. <laughs> well, I would thought, you know what would be a good thing? Why not, because we've, we've talked about this before, what if we got a fan on stage to sing one of our songs with us. I like that idea. I like that idea. I was thinking just, you know, it would be cool to do that. Yeah. Because, you know, we're sure our music, we've wrote, it, we've wrote the song ourselves, we thought, okay, why not, why not do that? And it'd be nice to hear the song from the outside in, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. I sort of went one further, a bit further, and, 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 and asked a fan. I'm listening. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't kill me yet. But the thing is, this fan, I think you know, because from the, from the first time this, this fan heard this song, they have been sort of torturing us about singing the songs. They love the song so much. Yeah. And they've always said, you know, I love a song. Let's sing it. Let's sing it. So I went ahead and asked them. Okay. Okay. No, look, trust me. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be okay. Look, if, if it's, you know, if it doesn't work out, it's Neil's fault. <laughs> but I think, okay, look, there's no way to spin it anymore. Let's just bring the fan on and, and, and we'll, we'll sing the song. Let's do it. Okay. Yes. Uh, is, is, is that person there? Oh, you have to accuse. <laughs> I think I'm okay with this one. Yeah. <laughs> Folks, this, this... This is Damien McGinty. Yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> He's Irish. <laughs> and there, Damien, there's one song you've always loved. What's that song? I absolutely love this song. I think it's fantastic. <laughs> and I hope you enjoy it. This is called The Garden. Where we 
see the ghosts of the past Like a window through time A window to the garden Hiding in the shadows we will burn until the day was done Laughing as we dance between the windows we're the only one When we were young When we were young We want you to see it, come on, it's your yeah. turn, let's go When we were young Oh yeah There's something very special there. Wow, that was Steve McGinty singing one of our songs, Neil. That's good. It certainly is. Yeah, we're happy with that. Speaking of our songs, it was expensive now, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of our songs, we'll sing another one. Let's do it. We wrote the song. It's probably one of our. Um, I think it was. When we started to write Echoes, I think this was our probably the first song that, that, that we actually uh, we put together. And um, it's a subject matter that, that was close to us and close to our hearts because we spent so much time over the years traveling around, you know. Yes, traveling around. <laughs> <laughs> Just traveling around aimlessly. There's, there's a few fans of travel in the audience tonight. <laughs> um, but, Talking around the US, Canada, Australia, getting around there. And, um, do you know, um, it's an amazing what we do for music and friendship. Yeah. Everybody in this room, like, you know, we love it. This, we love it's it. an amazing thing, it really is. It brings um, us all together, you know. Yeah. Good. And we, we'd heard so many songs in the past written, you know, about our country of Ireland and about people leaving our country and traveling. And it was always about sort of them missing home and pining for, for getting back home. But, but we met a lot, a lot of people along the way who, who, who love the light. You know, they miss home, but they love the life that they've made themselves across the water. And so we thought there's something in that, a positive emigration song. Yes, yes. Maybe we can write one of those. And that's where Home From Home came from. Woo! Our first our first single as well, yeah. mind you. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Missing words of songs I heard but never wrote them down Thinking of the folks at home, I promised I'd be back Told them that I know I'm gone, I'm just here for the Sports once again Stress. 
So much amazing food on the ship. I think it's nice to work out. It, 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 I mean, yeah, yeah, it is indeed. That's our work. Probably can song. help us. Yeah. Folks, I think it's only right, you know, at, at this stage of the, of the show to say it's definitely not just Bernard Kelly you're coming to see tonight. We thank God of two amazing musicians on either side of us here. They've been with us and with us through thick and thin uh, and. and they're still here, and these these people were, were a massive part of the whole Echoes album and, and, and the writing process itself. So, a big massive round of applause for Mr. Cole Hudson. <laughs> and Mr. Peter Sheridan. I am... Um... Actually, we're going to do a song now that... that uh, I suppose talking about, about immigration and, and, and home from home there, um, I, I wrote the song a few years ago and I, and I guess I often said it, it's, it's, it's always been in my process of writing for, for, for many years because, you know, I always thought when, when, when writing songs um, and, and writing them from an Irish perspective, the country of America has always been very close to Ireland in that respect. Going back long many of the time. We're a nation of travellers, Ireland, um, and, and an awful lot of people travelled across that Atlantic for years and years to find life in America. And I guess to a certain extent we've done something very similar. Um, we spend an awful lot of time here. Um, do you know, and, 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 and we love the fact that, that you know, the, the US has is, 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 is took us 
as part of their family as well, and, and, and it's a beautiful thing. And, and, um, and so I wanted to write a song about that. I thought, you know, because there's so many people over the years who, who have done that and have left the country with this dream of, of, of making it in America and just, just finding, finding a life for themselves. And, and um, yeah, that's where the song came from. And I guess we'll, we'll do it, we'd love to do it as a, a sort of tribute to, to all of you who have helped our American dream keep on the right track.
Take me away from the city
huh? Where, where, where are you playing tomorrow night? We want to come and see your show. Where, where is that? <laughs> wow. So good. We, are, um, it's, we thought it'd be nice just to, you know, we're going to throw in a few um, Celtic Thunder songs you, uh, from, 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 from the good old days there, from, from the past. And uh, This next song is actually, well, I suppose, it, it, you know, we could talk about the, uh, our, our DVD itself, it sort of is a good connection with us, so. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. The Echoes DVD. You know, it was, it was such great fun making the documentary, because initially we wanted to just, you know, to record one of our live shows, and uh, then we decided our film director, Michael McLean, decided, says, That's, I want to do some interviews with you. He says, I love the stories behind the songs. And uh, so, we did that, and then after we were finished doing all the interviews and we did the, the, the live performance concert, we said, you know what, I'd love to come to Ireland and see all these places that you've written about. We thought it was a great idea, and we did that. And it really put the whole package together, didn't yeah. it? But this is one, uh, one of the, the, uh, the two covers on the, uh, the DVD, and uh, it's a song that we've played for, for a couple of years now, and we love it, and there's great energy, and it's an absolute belter of a tune for you guys that do your stuff, you know? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, you see, I was talking about a completely different song right there. What do you So while Ryan takes over now, I'm going to have to tune down again. <laughs> I understand, yes. What threw, you, threw me there was when you said it was a cover. Because I <laughs> and said, oh, we actually wrote this song. <laughs> and I kind of just noticed that I was, seeing, I was actually introducing the wrong song when I seen Peter had beautiful long brown hair. <laughs> <laughs> and Nicole has changed out of her dress and is wearing a pair of jeans and a, and a shirt. But, um, and don't get me wrong, Peter, I love your beautiful short brown hair. <laughs> <laughs> so right now she's going to tune down, okay? Go for it, man. No worries. <laughs> The beauty of live music, folks. But you know, as, as Neil says, like you know, I, I guess when we had Michael McGlynn, our director, over um, in Ireland, and, and one of the songs that we thought we'd love to sort of tell the story behind this song for sure was a song we'd written called "The Ragman." Yes. yes. Some of you may know it or have heard it before, um, but this song we 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 are telling the story of 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 a, of a character. Basically, these guys were called rag and bone men. These 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 people who who, who sort of sold their wares around Dublin in, in the turn of the century, around around the uh, early 1900s, and and uh, we were just mesmerised by the idea of these guys coming in their horse and cart with all this clothes and cutlery and dishes and everything. They just sold everything from the back of a horse and cart, and they'd come into your street, you know, and maybe once, twice a month. And it was just this big furore, like a circus coming into town when, when, when the ragman was coming into town. And uh, there was something sort of mysterious about these guys. They were travellers and they just kept moving on and moving on. No fixed abode. And uh, we loved that story, we loved that idea. And we thought, oh, we could develop that into, into, a, into a character. And so our ragman was born. And when we brought Michael McLean over, our director over, over to Dublin, we wanted to find a cobblestone street in Dublin where, where, where these men would have, you know, travelled down because you, you would have heard the rickety wheel of the, of the cart, you know, in the early 1900s and that people would come out of there, rush out of the houses to, fi to, to find these men, you know. And so we found one in a certain place in Dublin. That's right. Uh, Nicole Hudson pointed it out to us. Mm -hmm. She says there's a great cobblestone street in a place called the Liberties in Dublin, not far from Christchurch, and um, it's a beautiful street, and it leads all the way to the Holy Grail of Guinnesses. Yeah. So we made our way up there, and Mike was interviewing us up there, and lo and behold, the Holy Grail gates opened, and a horse and cart came out, and drove down the street right by us. True. Yeah. It was just like it was planned. You, could, you couldn't have written. You couldn't have written the script any better. And, and we were sort of we, we stood there at the uh, at the gates, and we thought, Do you know what? It'd be rude not to go in now now that we're here. <laughs> and so we, we brought Michael inside the uh, the gates of of, of Guinnesses, and um, three days later we came back out. Um, <laughs> not quite the same men we were. Nope. But you know, it's it's all for for our art. 
Plenty of souvenirs. Exactly. <laughs> Too many souvenirs. And a bit more stubble. <laughs> Folks, this is the ragman. <laughs> form tonight, you're singing, you're just having a crack, it's all good, it's all good. Yeah. We're all in uh, <coughs> cruise form. This next song was actually, um, it's a song we, we, we discovered uh, a few years ago and decided um, 
you know, it, it's, it's sort of become almost a staple diet of, of the Burn and Kelly set list now, and, and uh, it just seems to get people dancing and having the crack and having fun, and, and there is space here to dance, I feel, around the... Yeah? Do you know, I'd be, I'd, I'd be doing it myself, Ryan, only for this bass drum here. Well, I know, I know, and, and you want to see this man dance. If you want to see this man dance, there's a disco tonight at 12 o'clock. <laughs> He'll be there. Thanks, Ryan. No worries. Sorry, I should... I'm, I'm, the, 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 well, you know, the only thing, I'm having a bit of trouble with the old dancing lately. Oh, you want to know what it is, Roy? Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> well it's, it's basically, it's strange, like, but, well, it's not very strange. It's because playing this bass drum for the last five years, one leg's got bigger than the other one. Yeah. And when I try to dance, I go around in circles. Yeah. But listen. If you see him in the dance floor, just turn him around the other way. And he'll be fine. I should learn how to play with the left. Yeah, well. Like Ronnie O'Sullivan playing. <laughs> you might know who Ronnie O'Sullivan is. He's an English snooker player. He's fantastic. But listen, this is called... <laughs> This is called Step Out of Mary. Three, four. Let's go, Hans. Come on. Here we go. Step it out, Mary, my fine daughter. Step it out, Mary, if you can. Step it out, Mary, my fine daughter. Show me legs in the country, man. Step it out, Mary, my fine daughter. Step it out, Mary, if you can. Step it out, Mary, my fine daughter. Show me legs in the country, man. In the village of the glory. So near and fair Her eyes they shine like bright And she's got long of golden hair A husband he comes riding Riding out to her father's gate On a gar or white stallion He comes and strike the bait Step it out Mary my fine daughter Step it out Mary if you can Step it out Mary my fine daughter Show your legs to the country man Step it out Mary my fine daughter Step it out Mary if you can Step it out Mary my fine daughter Show your legs to the country man I have come to cook your daughter there's a golden head, I have gold and I have silver, I have gold beyond compare. I will buy the silken satin and a gold ring for her hand. She shall have a mansion, she'll have servants to command. Step it out, Mary, my fine daughter, step it out, Mary, if you can. Step it out, Mary, my fine daughter, show your legs to the country man. Step it out, Mary, my fine daughter, step it out, Mary, if you can. Step it out, Mary, my fine daughter, show your legs to the country man. Deep stream full and by On a windy day at midnight She drowned with a soldier boy In a cottage there is music You can hear her father say Mary my fine daughter Sun is your wedding day Step it out, Mary, my fine daughter. Step it out, Mary, if you can. Step it out, Mary, my 
goodness, huh? Yeah. It's weird, you know. When you're <laughs> I'm not going to stop. Where are you going? It's weird when you're you're playing, you're you're fine, you're getting into it, you know, and you're on the bass drum and all that, and your microphone's going like that with the ship. <laughs> and you feel so weird. It's like you're after having seven Jemsons or something, you know. Oh, mummy. It makes it all the more interesting, I suppose. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all part of the game. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Folks, we can't believe we've come to the end of our show. Oh, yeah. well, what happens? It does fly by. It does fly by. We do. Um, we did, we did want to play this song. I, I guess you know, out of all the songs and echoes, a lot of people have, have commented on, on on this particular song. It's a song we. we we always wanted to write, I suppose. Um, we want to write a song about our homeland. But we wanted to write a song that, I guess, meant a lot to us about the history of our, of our land. And, and, and you know, we, we, we've talked about it and said it'd be remiss to, to write a song about Ireland without, I guess, even talking about the, the greatest tragedy to ever, to ever occur in our land. And that's the Irish famine where we lost millions of people um, to something that, that could have been avoided. Um, um, we wrote this song, you know, about that idea of, of our, our forefathers standing on the west coast of Ireland watching their family, their friends, get on board these ships and leave to find life, life in America, life in Canada, as far away as Australia as well. Um, and, how, and how that has sort of, I guess, almost structured our country for what it has become today. Um, these people were proud, proud people, and I think that's continued, you know, all, all, all through the, the generations as, as, as Irish people. And something we're very, we're proud of our country, we're proud of our culture, we're proud of what it, it represents. And, we want to try and get that into a song, I suppose. Um, Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, we're, we're, we're a land of a thousand dreams, is what, is what we can say we are. And um, that became the title of our song, and, and uh, we'd love to, to sing it for you right now. <laughs> Children live in fear. 
Thanks so much for all your kind comments, um, not just for coming tonight, but your kind comments on the ship over the, over the last few days about ourselves and about what we're doing, this Burning Kelly thing. Um, it's something we, we started out a few years ago uh, because we have this love for the music and what we're doing and, and uh, we just want it to grow and grow and, and we love writing these songs, we love performing these songs. We've got as we said, two amazing people with us, Absolutely. playing these songs Absolutely. with us, and, and it's a... Uh, we're also, also very lucky, guys, because who we have on the gig with us tonight as well are the untold heroes that have been with Celtic Thunder for years, that make us sound what we sound like out front and on the stage. That's our Craig, he's back here. There he is. Running all the monitors, making sure we're happy. And when you have that guy there, you know you're just in safe hands. It's like having a great goalie in goals. Do you know what I mean? Something like that. <laughs> Down the very back, we have Stuart on sound, front of house. And as I said, it's just, it's fantastic to have these guys with us. It's just, you just know you're in great hands and the sound's going to be good. So thanks, lads. Thanks yeah. very much. End up on stage, and we end up doing all these things because you all know her, the amazing Angie Halloran, who's out there too as well. It keeps, it keeps us going, it keeps everything absolutely. God help her, she's got an awful job trying to keep us in line, but she does, you know. But look, it's amazing. Look, we love what we do, we love the Bernie Kelly thing. And look, folks, thanks so much for if you see us along the way, as you say, we've got tours coming up in Australia, yeah, in Canada. And of course the US as well. And, uh, so look, if you get a chance, come and come, come and see us, and, and, and we'll, we'll have a night's crack for sure. But anyway, we're going to leave you with this one. Thanks so much for, for coming out and seeing us tonight. Want to hear you sing along with this, guys? You, you'll know these songs, all right?
Double and one, two, three, four, five. Hunter here, return her down the rocky road. And on the way to double and one, fell out the rock. Hunter here, return her down the rocky road. 